Patricia Ben, I think we'd like to turn the podium over to you to welcome us all to this month's interactive live stream. We have our fabulous guest, whom I get to introduce in just a moment. You have the floor, Tricia. As, as CEO of C-Suite Network, one of my dearest friends in life, thought leader, visionary, a woman who's all about success, a very long career. Tricia, you have really made your mark in the business world, in telecom and in, in business, starting and creating communities all around the world. I would love to welcome you as our kickoff welcomer for today's program, Tricia Ben. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kathleen. It is always such a pleasure, such an honor. And technically I'm on vacation, but how could I miss this time together? I, I had to be here and I'm so thrilled that I am here. Uh, even though Kathleen, in, in, as she always does, supporting great things for everyone she touches, said, my goodness, are you sure you're on vacation, right? Um, I, but I, I honestly, uh, as long as I can be here, I always want to be. I know today's content is incredible, and I'm so thrilled to be able to introduce Kathleen formally, and also, of course, the conversation for the day, and then I'll hand things over. So Kathleen Caldwell is the CEO of Caldwell Consulting Group and the founder of the C-Suite Network Women's Coaching and Consulting Council and the Women's Success Accelerator. There is so much that Kathleen does to lead and to help others reach their epitome of success for themselves. And I, I so appreciate and so value that. I know we all do in this community. She guides and mentors successful women in business to achieve greater impact, income, and thought leadership. And her clients are those female executives and business owners who aspire to scale up their careers and businesses through strategic execution, guidance from an expert coach, and an advisor and support from a global sisterhood. And that's all of us together. The, the power of the community is so critical. This is an interesting message because so frequently I think that's underestimated because yeah. everything is our community, whether it's our staff, our clients, our partners, or all of those other pieces of our world that we contribute to and, and donate to and so on. So Today's topic is going to be all about how we elevate our online brand and stand out and attract our ideal opportunities. I can't help thinking that for us as women leaders, this is so critical. It's so challenging. Our voice is interpreted differently than male counterparts, than male predecessors. So there's, there's an extra layer that I think is just so fantastic to be thinking to as we look at this topic today in this community. So when people search LinkedIn for someone with your skills and experiences, are you going to rank high enough? Does your profile stand out? Um, what does it look like in terms of creating ideal opportunities? And I know Kathleen is going to do a tremendous job of setting up why this was so important in terms of bringing this speaker, this content into the, the community here today. Um, Kathleen, I'm so honored to be able to hand things over to you. Trisha, thank you so much for kicking us off in such a great way. Let's give Trisha some sparkle fingers. Yes, in, in only the way that our Women's Coaching and Consulting Council can do. Thank you. And we, of course, we welcome men to join us as well. And today's topic, so important. So I'm going to pop into a couple slides here and share my screen because this context Tricia, is so important to all of you that are here, and it's just such a delight to welcome Carol Kammermer as our esteemed faculty member speaker today. And, um, you know, I'll tell you a little bit more about Carol in a moment, but thank you, Tricia, for the beautiful introduction. And it's my joy to be a founding member of C-Suite Network and to be building communities all around the world and to help you build your communities build your intellectual property, be able to really experience a freedom lifestyle. That's what we all want, isn't it? To be able to, to work and to create and to love our lives and create a legacy with our brilliance, all of our hard work, our talents, our gifts, and our voice. And so today's topic is perfect for that because Carol is going to help us with all of that. 
So as you know, you know, the topic today is, of course, about having your visibility be seen on LinkedIn specifically. But did you know, setting up the context for today, that there are over 6 million coaches on LinkedIn right now? 6 million. And, you know, before COVID, there were about 2 million. So you, if you go out there and you can literally put in the title of whatever your career is right now, you could say consultant, you could say trusted advisor, you could say expert in IT or whatever it is. And you're going to see that there's more quote unquote competition out there in the world. And so how do we rise above it? And so I'd like to welcome to our stage, Carol Kammerer. She's an esteemed faculty member for the C-Suite Network Women's Coaching and Consulting Council, a thought leader within C-Suite Network. She's an executive branding coach and consultant, trusted advisor, professional speaker, member of the National Speakers Association. And she was recognized, and she's being recognized, Carol, you're being recognized all the time with new awards as one of the top personal branding experts to watch in 2022. And of course, certainly this year. Really, Carol's expertise is helping people to create powerful online brands, C-suite executives, senior leaders, and leverage the power of LinkedIn for this. And so with that, I'd like to welcome to our podium, Carol Kammerer, and also let you know that, you know, Carol is uniquely qualified to lead our program today. She has literally written the book. Uh, feel free to get the book through her website, LinkedIn for the Savvy Executive. Really, really fantastic book. And uh, I've got it tabbed, dog-eared on, I would say, Carol, probably about at least 50 pages. You know, <laughs> great book. So, you know, just want to do a shout out for you. You know, we always okay. want to have the author. I mean, how, how much better does that get? So with that, Carol, I'd like to turn the podium over to you. And I know you're going to share valuable information. We are, and we do this in such a timely fashion, sisters. We get it done, don't we? We GSD get stuff done, right? Okay, Carol, turning the podium yeah. over to you to spotlight. Very nice. Uh, I'm going to take yourself off. Would, would we and ask you, take yourself off mute. And let's give Carol a rounding welcome oh. applause. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> sparkle fingers, whatever. <laughs> yeah. As Tricia says, this is also a little bit of exercise if we engage our triceps and biceps. Yes, exactly. So there we go. Yes. Thank you. That's it. Love it. Love it. Well, I wanted to give you a little overview of what I envision for our time today. So the first 10 minutes, 15 minutes or so, I'm going to be sharing three strategies that I use every time to create a soul-centered LinkedIn profile. Um, then you can be thinking about this. Um, after that, I'm going to do a demonstration on how do, how do I create a headline that really works. So I'm looking for a guinea pig. And we'll see how fast I can do. Um, after that, I am going to ask you for some feedback because as a virtual speaker, it's really hard to get feedback. Even when I see you on the, um, on the screen, it's not the same. I can't feel your energy. I can't feel whether I'm hitting you or not. So I'm going to ask you for feedback. And as a gift, I will give you um, my worksheet on creating brilliant headlines. So um, let's get going. Oh, at the end, I have a special offer for you also. So let's see, let's get started. So does your LinkedIn headline deliver ideal, does your LinkedIn profile deliver ideal for you opportunities? Those opportunities are out there and you can beckon them with a well-crafted LinkedIn profile that really showcases your authentic brand. By drawing in those people who find you naturally via LinkedIn keyword search, 
your passion and expertise can attract amazing opportunities. For example, this last year, the American reporter named me one of the top six personal branding experts. How did that happen? They found me on LinkedIn. That same kind of, oh my gosh, how could this happen? Happens to my clients too. So I want to tell you about Malcolm. Malcolm was a national sales director. He had been a top producer for many companies over time. He was a, just fabulous. But when he came to see me, he needed a new job in the worst way. He was in pain because the new owner of the company was changing company directions every other week. And the edicts that came from on high were demoralizing the whole staff countrywide. He needed to get out of there really quickly because he was being affected in his health, in his mental health. He knew it was time. So we needed a great profile and I deliver that. I stepped really carefully through all of his prior experience because he was in pain. And I kept looking for the light in his eyes. Nothing. Finally, I turned to him and I said, Malcolm, do you have any volunteer experience that's important in your life? Oh my goodness, it was the right question. Oh, the blackout sheets fell down and he began to talk animatedly about an international charity that he had created some eight years ago. He'd been serving as the executive director. He had recruited people who attended the same congregation that he was a member of, and they were contributing money. They were contributing time in country during their vacations. It was amazing the impact that they were having on that community. Well, I knew now how to make him shine. So I married the passion that he had for his charity with the deep experience and great success that he'd had all along in his career as a national sales director. I married those in his about section. It was perfectly Hoyle because he was using the same skills. We were pleased. A month later, he called and said, you are never going to guess where I'm going to go to work on Monday. So he told me this story and it was breathtaking. He said an executive recruiter had found him based solely on his LinkedIn profile because he hadn't begun to do networking or send out a resume or any of that. It was all from the LinkedIn profile. And the executive recruiter twisted his arm so that he would apply for this position. He said, I didn't feel like I was qualified. The position that he reported to um, the following Monday was as the administrative pastor of a megachurch. You see, that church had many different pastors, and they were each going in their own separate directions. For the church to thrive, they needed someone who could rally them together as a team to send them out on a unified mission with unified processes and systems in place to back them up. Malcolm was just the right person, and he's been doing that for several years. The church is happy. Malcolm is happy. I have a great story to tell. <laughs> so let me share with you how I bring that kind of power to my clients when I work with them. Um, what I want to share is just three strategies. They are overarching strategies. 
the presentations that I've made here before were, you know, little things that you could do. These are big strategies. And the first one is use the rule of three. Now, the rule of three is putting three ideas or three um, words or word phrases together. And preachers and teachers and speakers and writers and orators have been using this for centuries to make sure we get it. Three is automatically memorable. And the converse is true. More than three, we can't keep it in our heads. So when we use the rule of three, we want to use it, number one, in our headline. And number two, we want to use it in our about section to give it some structure. So I like to think of the three things you want to be known for, or perhaps the three things um, that your clients receive as a result of your work together. Something to that effect so that we have some punch. Um, I'm sure that Many of you have seen people with four or five, six, seven, even eight things strung together in their headline because we have a lot of, of room. And that's great. I appreciate that they've gotten the first part of it right. The first part is right to the margins, you know, right to the limits. And we have a lot of room and we want to be keyword rich and they are doing keyword rich. But the problem is, when we use three, people go, oh, I get it. When we use more than three, instead of looking powerful, we disappear because people's eyes glaze over. And when we look unfocused like that, we are not referable. We are not hireable. We are not anybody's answer to any problem they have. And so use the rule of three to your benefit. Let's see here, here we go. The second one is right to the margins. Now, what does that even mean? It means right to LinkedIn's limits. And why is that even important? You know, we don't write just to hear ourselves speak or just to see the words on the page. When we are writing to the margins, when we're writing this kind of text, we are naturally using our keywords. They just flow from us when we are talking about our purpose in life. Those keywords show up naturally. And guess what? linked in a search engine. That's the primary thing that it is. And it's looking to match the word that's being searched for with words that are on your profile. And it's not an either or. It's not a binary search. It's not, is the word there or is it not there? No, no. It is, how many times does this word show up on this person's profile? Because that will determine in part how they rank on a keyword search. If you don't rank on page one or page two of a keyword search, you're not going to be found for those ideal opportunities. So when I work with people, I often find that they, they're starting with uh, an about section that's two sentences long. You know, it takes up this much room. Well, LinkedIn has given us 2,600 characters, which is five paragraphs. You cannot possibly rank as well writing two sentences, even if they're great sentences, as you do when you write from the heart and you're using your keywords naturally and you're writing five paragraphs. Likewise, if your experience section doesn't have your accomplishments in it, you're losing that all of those keywords that you could have shining out from your profile, they're not working for you. So number two is right to the margins, right to the limits. 
And the third one is write your about section from your heart center. Because your about section is intended to be a love letter from your heart to connect, absolutely connect with the heart of your ideal client or customer. We are drawing that person by telling who we are in the most authentic way. Now, many of you have seen um, and possibly have even written about sections all about your business, all about your products and services in great detail. Well, that's great information. Put it in your current position. It's not great in your about section because this is the way we woo our intended clients and customers. People buy you first before they're ever interested in your products and services. It's a truism. Um, people like to do business with people they know, like, and trust. This is the section that helps them build trust with you so that they can do business. So number three is right from your heart. So that is really my didactic portion for today. I have a hard time figuring out which way to go. Um, if you wanted to take a screenshot of just these strategies, here they are. Here's what I wanted to offer. Um, Deb, would you be my guinea pig for a headline? I would. Um, Susan Younger did volunteer, but um, I would happy be happy to Fabulous. also. Okay, well, Let I can only do one. Let I'm Deb afraid. do it. Go with Deb. Well, no, I'd be happy go to with work Susan. with Susan. Go with <laughs> Susan. Yeah, the reason I, I was going to go with Deb is that I did know what she did, and now I um like don't have that same vision. Uh -huh. And I thought, well, this would, this would be um you know make things clearer to me. But um I can I can certainly do you, uh, Susan. Yeah, go with I'm Deb. To... I love that you do Deb. All right, all right. Here we go. Um. So, okay, so on. I've opened up my profile too. So that way I can answer any questions you might have. Great. Yeah, I can, let's see. I can't figure out how I can share my screen on this. Kathleen, help me out here. What am I looking see, for? See, you are co-host, Carol. Uh, I so no, but I can't even see the little icon that lets me share. Mm, okay, <laughs> let's see. Well, maybe you can share her screen. Of course I can. Yes. And yes. Deb, I think you can share your screen. Let's yeah. have you share. I, I can share. Okay. Um, yeah. The, the notion is I need to be able to see your profile. There we and go. Fabulous. Okay. And um, ladies, this is like, we're just, we're, this is yeah. just in time here. This is amazing. Well, you know? I know. I have like, no idea what, what's going to happen. This is going to be great fun. Uh, okay. It's like a reality so, TV show, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Okay. So let me get my questions that I'm going to ask you up behind me. And if you can still see me, you probably can't yep. see that all of that. But um, the, the first one is, um, what are the three things you want to be known for? See, and I've got too many. Um, now I think it's the, the, the three right under my pink name up there in my title. So speaker, coalitionist, warrior. Okay. And um, well, one of the, the next one is what are your differ, uh, differentiators? And, and certainly um, being a cancer survivor is, is a biggie. Um, I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, are there others that I should be aware of? I think um, the, the podcasting is, is a biggie. I mean, I'm going to hit a thousand 
be uh, episodes before too long. So I think I did 880 yesterday. Um, so that's why I put it in my picture, um, in my cover image here. Sure, sure. Okay. And um, tell me um, who you are serving. That's my challenge. Yeah. <laughs> um, because I'm kind of in this transition from, yeah. you know, being wise women communications, being the podcast host to having trying not to die dot live, which is, you know, kind of my, my new mission vision in life. So right. that's part of the struggle I've been having with LinkedIn is uh, yeah. <laughs> what do I focus well, on? Okay, so this is a, a problem that I faced when I switched from being um, exclusively um, medical device marketing communications mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to working with people um, uh, on their LinkedIn profiles. Now, the skills that I meet, was using were exactly the same, but it didn't make sense. It was like schizophrenic. Mm -hmm. um, it sounded wrong. And it took me two weeks of deep thinking, like around the clock, two mm -hmm. weeks of thinking to create a bridge that I could live with and that would get me over this hurdle. Okay. okay. And the bridge that I created, because I was using my same communication skills, was I tell business stories. <sighs> Now that works for me. Mm -hmm. um, for you, we got um, we got to come up with something. I that we got a mishmash. I mean, that's that is my confusion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that was why um, you know I I thought to to spend some time with you because mm -hmm. um, you still have this podcast that is a business podcast, mm -hmm. and you're going forward with that. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. And um, so what uh, characterize your podcast and tell me what would be the um, your audience for that and and mm -hmm. what benefits do they get? So it's the business power hour um, yeah. and uh, the audiences from around the world, according to the stats, about 30 to 40 percent are outside the U.S., it is oh, for wow. small business owners and entrepreneurs, um, and it's you know practical business tips as well as a lot of deep thought, a lot of fun conversation. Um, I tell people it's my podcast; I can talk about what I want. So we've Yay. had things like mental health and yeah. um, nutrition during COVID. I mean, that was one of the things mm -hmm. that we did, and and so it's it's a lot of fun, and um, you know I learn something every time. So I my my hope is that my listeners and my viewers learn something every time too. Okay. So, um, the value is, is just the opportunity to create community and knowledge, right? Create community. Ooh, I like that. And share knowledge. Mm -hmm. Can I also jump in to Carol? Could we sure. do a little crowdsourcing and again you know maybe we could tee up our next person who'd like to also get this expertise I, oh. i'm also wondering carol what do you think about in deb is that you're really celebrating and supporting business and life champions oh that's good celebrating and supporting mm -hmm. business and life champions um i think there's you know some things to to bridge the two because you're celebrating people who have overcome mm -hmm. certainly life challenges, specifically dealing with cancer. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, there's this bridge you're on. And um, I think like all of us, I'm just kind of curious how many, how many of each of you, you're kind of in this bridge, you know, mm -hmm. you're, I think a lot of us are one of us and we're mm -hmm. like checking out something else, Carol, big opportunity yeah. here for us, you know? Mm -hmm. yep. Absolutely. Thank Absolutely. you. Yeah. So um, let's see if, if you would like me to noodle over that for a little oh, bit, I would love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, should we um, 
do another um, person just to have um, yeah. some people. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah, great. I mean, this is a tremendous value to get your just in time eyes on this, Carol. Thank you. Yeah. Very I, lovely. I, I just think, brought Susan up. <laughs> she oh, volunteered before, so and there it, she is. The other yeah. thing, I put those two comments, creating community and knowledge in and the celebrating business and life in the chat. That way, those words are there for Deb immediately. But I also thought Debbie. it's healthy business when dealing with health issues. Mm. That you're really taking on that integration of, you know, you for mm -hmm. you, it is that focus on cancer, but for yeah. others, hearing that you're dealing with a health issue mm -hmm. in general may help them understand how they deal with that in their life. I love that. I love and, that. And so that helps to create that bridge between the two mm -hmm. to me. And I love the way Kathleen called them champions. Mm -hmm. You know, I think all of those things start to interplay in what we all know mm -hmm. you did so beautifully in right. both of those worlds. Well, I can tell you, I'm definitely going to be rewatching this. <laughs> <laughs> well, the other thing that I will do is um, um, I'll send them to Kathleen so she can send them out to everybody with the notes, um, some suggestions of, you know, how we might put that together. Mm -hmm. um, so, but I, but I think having you focus on what you were doing with Deb to show that sequence is important. Mm -hmm. It you is. Know, so I, I, I don't mind if you stay focused on what you were thinking your process is to share with Deb and show us then how important it is for us to look at that. Okay, well, let's see here. So are we Deb, throwing you curves? <laughs> oh, there she's be having a bonus session That's here. Fun. That's fun. I'm okay. getting private. I'm getting, I'm getting a really good benefit here. This is fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> here, yeah. Okay, so um, can you tell me um, some other benefits that your cancer survivor work, um, like what will what will those benefits be or? You know, I, I think it those? is, um, it is about building, you know, we, we say building the tribe, um, you know, and, and same thing happens in business. It is about building these coalitions um, and expanding your connections, um, expanding your knowledge, all of those things. Uh, one of the biggest things that, that we really talk about um, in, and it's, it's a mouthful and I can't really make an acronym of it, trying not to die dot live, um, is that we have to be in charge. And I think especially as women in business, that is absolutely critical, um, is that we are speaking for ourselves, we are in charge, but we are working with others. Um, you know, we're not standing alone. We're not the, the, the you know, the, the warrior that is standing alone. We are the warrior who is standing with our tribe. I love that. So those are um, possible bridge mm -hmm. things between okay. your okay. your two two areas, and um, and and that was what I was hoping to get to. You know, is mm -hmm. like how can how can we create a bridge for mm -hmm. them because you know it's obvious you're over here and then you're over here. I know I've got all these hats on. Yeah, but how do we how do we make that congruent and um, I, I was going to try to do this in real time, but I'm not sure that I can do it. It's a little confusing. <laughs> yeah, but I will come back um, later today. I'll send it to you okay. and to Kathleen. And Kathleen, you can send it to everybody. And send it to everybody. That I'm perfectly yeah. fine with, with it going to everybody. That's, that's yeah. wonderful. Um, I love that we have this, this problem because it's a problem mm -hmm. that I... Um, have encountered myself for mm -hmm. sure. And then I work with other people to create that, that bridge of, you know, how does mm -hmm. this, how do these two things make sense? Right. Because just like Malcolm, he was using the same skills, just like me using the same skills, you, you're using the same mm -hmm. skills. So um, tell me um, about uh, what are the three top skills that you use? Um, communication. 
collaboration. Mm -hmm. um, trying to figure out how to connection. Yeah, it, it's, oh. I was, we're ending up with all these C's. Um, <laughs> And uh, which is funny since cancer, we call it the big C, right? Um, and so right. maybe that's, you know, that's that's kind of a funny play on words that we do is, you know, we, we might be dealing with the big C, but here are the other C's that pertain, Con, you know, connection, collaboration, um, uh, you know, uh, the, um, it's, it's about supporting each, you know, how, how I can support others. Um, right. And community too. Right. Oh, you I know, love that. And it's funny because I put a sentence in here, you know, in my about section to try to bridge this where I just said, oh yeah. So I listed all the trying not to die dot live things. And then I said, oh yeah, I'm also a podcaster, founder of wise women communication and LinkedIn strategist, truly living my life. Oh, if there's a typo <laughs> with cancer. Oh. <laughs> How, funny. How funny. Let me fix that. <laughs> Where is your typo? There it is. Of life. Uh, yeah. Okay. And all better. Uh, <laughs> as long as you are changing, um, uh, correcting typos, if you go back in, you've got, oh, yay, instead of, oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it has an H at the end. There we go. There you go. Okay. Well, and, and, you know, when you were talking before about going to the margins, I mean, this is a good example. You know, I've, we can do 2,600 characters and that's a pretty hefty about section and it's only, it's just under 1,400. Yes. So the way that I would approach this is when we figure out what your headline looks like, we've got you know, things in three pots. And then we say, um, um, uh, creating um, connection. Mm -hmm. And we talk about the ways that you have connected over mm -hmm. time and the ways that you're connecting right. in the future. And, and we actually put, you know, I build coalitions mm -hmm. um, for connection. Um, and you put that all in caps on, as a, you know, we don't have much uh, uh, formatting that we can mm -hmm. do on LinkedIn, but all caps is what we got. Mm -hmm. So um, we would do that one. We've got um, uh, creating collaboration mm -hmm. um, and support. Mm -hmm. um, and you can talk about how you do that in business and, and now okay. with this okay. new Perfect. Thing. So you've got three things that you're going to put mm -hmm. and then you write about it. And mm -hmm. that's a way that you can, um, you know, I talked about five paragraphs in this mm -hmm. section. Well, it's pretty hard to come up with five paragraphs unless you have a, a framework yes. mm -hmm. for how you're going to um, build. And this is, this is the kind of framework that I put together. Mm -hmm. So in the beginning, you know, you probably give a, um, uh, general paragraph about um, that, that you are a business strategist. Mm -hmm. And now you're bringing that power to a community that you by accident found that you are part of mm -hmm. the community of cancer survivors. So we build the bridge between the two. Perfect. And then we um, step it through. And then um, the other thing that I would do in your about section mm -hmm. is um, at the end, give us um, contact colon and your email address. Okay. Because um, people that are not connected with you may or may not be able to see your email address. There are all kinds of people that have no idea where to look for your email address uh, on LinkedIn. And um, so that would be, that would be a helpful thing. So um before we run out of time, I want to move to my ask, which is asking um, for you to give me some feedback about my presentation today. And um, so, yes, I will kind of step over here and show you that you can either, if you really like QR codes, um, take a picture of this, or Kathleen is going to put in the chat that talk.ac slash carol kemmerer yeah, and when you in. get there mm -hmm. 
hey, 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 thank you. And when you um, put it in, um, then um, a code, headline one, all in caps with the number one, will give you a worksheet for um, how I create brilliant headlines. And it steps you through that process that I went through just now with Deb. So Carol, so, your, your ask is? My ask? Loves, yeah, we'd love to have all of you. Yeah. Let's just okay. take a moment, let's gift back Carol. Yeah. Do some feedback and then you're gonna give us back in the spirit of reciprocity. Right. A headline creator, very nice. Good. So absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So the the survey is kind of fun, I think. And then you know, you may or may not um feel like uh commenting, but um it is one way for a virtual presenter to have something um to represent their work. Um, you know, if I were in a um a conference room, I would hand out sheets and I'd pick them up at the end. <laughs> It's not happened to me for me that way. Very nice. So we can uh, take a moment and get it's it's beautiful because it's just a couple questions. Oh my gosh, it's actually just one question. Oh no, well a couple. Uh, yep. Yeah, yeah, you know, it, and it some happy know. faces. We want the green yeah. happy faces. The emojis but. happy faces just are nice great and there is a place to um to write something that would be a testimonial if you are interested in doing that. this is a fun way to do this nice mm -hmm. you know we're always supporting leading edge marvelous things very nice it is it is really really a fun little tool i think um at the how do last... i activate this tool i'm sorry i'm pasting this in and i'm not getting i'm getting a thing that says oops okay let's see did you do talk.ac slash carol kemmerer yep okay and then um did you get anything that asks for a code nope okay well um did you spell my name correctly? It is. Yep, hard... I copied it. Yep. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Well, maybe well, I... yeah. I'll try it again outside of this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, because I went to it and I didn't, you know, didn't notice there was an HTTP or anything like that. So yeah, yeah. And if you know, feel free share the chat. You know, uh, save the chat for yourself, and uh, it's a very nice, nice thing to do for you, Carol. We're glad to do that, and you have got uh, in return. And of course, you know, you've got. We put up the screen for all of you who are watching the replay. Would love for you to do the same. Scan the QR code, and or use um, use talk.ac backslash Carol Camover code headline one all in caps. Right. Absolutely. And one is just the number. Yes, the number one. Yes, yes. Very good. Carol, and you also had another nice um, offer and opportunity as well, right? I do. So this is an offer um, that is exciting to me because it's hard to like jump in with both feet and do a full, you know, LinkedIn makeover sometimes, uh, you know, you have to save up for that one. Um, but here is a way that I can work with you for one hour with discount of 20% on your LinkedIn profile so that we clear up anything that you're shooting yourself in the foot with. Um, also taking care of any opportunities. So unlike an audit where I look at it and I send send back notes to you, we're actually going to, in the hour, take care of things. Um, this offer is available through July 8th and um, you can schedule it at my scheduling link that Kathleen's gonna put in the chat. Nice, nice. 
And so questions and actually interactively going through our LinkedIn profile. I mean, it's priceless. And what's, yeah. you know, the opportunity for people to find you, engage with you, work with you, hire you is, is absolutely priceless. Uh, maybe be interviewed. The Wall Street Journal is calling. C-Suite Network is calling. You've got to be found and heard, right? Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Great. So I, I hope that you got value today. That was my intent was to pour value into you and not make it so um, tippy, you know, the little tips of what you can do, because then you miss the big picture of how this system works. And that's what I wanted to convey to you today. Beautiful. Carol, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Let's take ourselves off mute. Carol, thank you so much. A round of applause, sparkle fingers, whatever works for you. Yeah, yeah, you. really great. And Carol, we know that literally we could have an entire workshop, a, uh, a little uh, event on all of the things that we can do to optimize our LinkedIn and be seen, heard, and elevate our visibility. So thank you. Wow, great. Thank you. It, I have an entire page pleasure. of notes. Thank you. Very great. Good. So as we complete, let me just jump on and I just want to finish up uh, with just some final parting words here that, uh, Carol, thank you so much. Wow. And, and of course, you know, people can also, you know, purchase your book through your website and through Amazon. But I think, you know, just getting that dedicated time is really critical. I know that I'm going to be doing that with you as well. And so, you know, today's topic as we uh, complete is that moving out of our comfort zone with our LinkedIn. This is where the success happens. It happens right outside of that comfort zone. So that's that is really, a great picture. Yeah, thank you. I mean, it's really the, uh, the 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 important point of today is we've got to try new things. And part of renewing ourselves, rejuvenating ourselves, and renovating you know the things in our life. We won't, we won't get new results until we try new things. So Carol, you're really doing that. You're really helping us to think differently and take new actions. So Thanks. with that, you know, our council is all about guiding and mentoring, supporting you to become the unstoppable, committed, awesome version of yourself. And we always think about what's next. Well, every Saturday, we have the most incredible Saturday morning women's success circle within our council. 27 minutes because the number 27 means new beginnings. And so come join us. We have a different topic every week. Oh my goodness. We're talking this Saturday all about what's your legacy. What's your, what is your why? What are you here to do? And what's your legacy, your success legacy, your living legacy. It's going to be fabulous. I assure you. And so we love doing that. And we're celebrating our 53rd consecutive Saturday, this Saturday. So come be, become, be part of it, be join it. We would love to have you there. And of course, we invite you to look at our YouTube channel, the C-Suite Network Women's Coaching and Consulting Council. We've got now about 55,000 55, clicks and views on our channel. We're now up to 90 videos, 90. So we've got a, such tremendous content. And when you're part of our council, esteemed faculty member, we invite you to be part of it. We celebrate and elevate you as well. And so the real secret as we complete our program is we believe that collaboration, being powerful together is the way to go. And so with that, we can't wait to have you join our council, be part of C-Suite Network. And uh, we wanna promote you, showcase you, highlight you, as the expert you are and giving you a platform to rise and shine. So set, feel free, schedule a time with me. Very simple, Calendly, Kathleen Caldwell. Let's talk about you. What's next for you? What's in your heart's desire to showcase on LinkedIn and beyond? So with that, thank you for attending. Great program today as always. Pay it forward. We'll do some posts on LinkedIn. Tell your colleagues and your friends about today's program. Can't wait to see you on our next program. Bye for now. Carol Cameron, thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Yeah. Thanks. Bye. Bye for now. Bye. Take care.